Hi friends, Pammy Pam here. I wanted to tell you about a very quick story that I found the other day that's perfect for when you just have to wait 10 to 15 minutes, maybe in between appointments or something. It's called The Night Bookmobile, and it's by Audrey Niffenegger. She wrote um, The Time Traveler's Wife. Many of you have read it or seen the movie. I haven't seen either. It's a little too dark for me, and um, that's why I haven't read it. But um, I like The Night Bookmobile, mostly because it's a graphic novel, and I love graphic novels. And um, this is a little dark, but um, it's got some really beautiful moments that I thought I would share with you. The first time I saw the night bookmobile, I was walking down Ravenswood Avenue at 4 o'clock in the morning. It was late in the summer, at that quiet time of morning when the cicadas have given up, but the birds haven't started in yet. I've been walking for about an hour. I had started at Belmont, and then I was at Irving Park Road. There are two trains that run along Ravenswood, the Chicago Northwestern and the Ravenswood L, and periodically one of them would run up behind me and ahead of me with nobody in it. I was starting to feel a little peaceful a little tired, so I kept on walking. Everything was very clean and slightly wet, because it had been raining around three, which is when Richard and I had had the argument. So I was out walking around in the cool end of the night, and I saw the night bookmobile. It was sitting in the corner of Ravenswood and Belle Plaine. I didn't know it was a night bookmobile, of course. It was an enormous, battered Winnebago, all lit up and thumping out, I shot the sheriff. So, as you can see, it's kind of dark, kind of mysterious, but it's really kind of fun. And look at the librarian, Mr. Openshaw. See him? He reminds me a lot of John Malkovich, which I guess if there was such a thing as a night librarian, that's probably who the librarian would look like. Anyway, I'm not going to give it away because I hate spoilers. If you've got 10 or 15 minutes to spare and you want an interesting read, do pick up The Night Bookmobile by Audrey Niffenegger.